Wagner has a jumbo job hosting the undefeated East Men. Yes, we do. No. Uh, we played down at Trinity last week, and you know, for the last no. decade or so, they've been a pretty dominant team in our league, and they're still everything that they are. I, I thought defensively, no. Murph and I were just no. talking about how Penn's defense is the, the strength of their team, and and certainly at Trinity, their defense is suffocating at times. Uh, we won a, a lot of battles in the game. We had we created four turnovers and scored off of one, and we only turned the ball over one time and still couldn't get it done. In the second half, they just went too tight and kind of ground us down. We couldn't get the ball back. Um, we had, I think, four possessions in the second half, and they had four possessions. They just did a better job of keeping the ball away from us. You know, we are trying to be up-tempo and, and get up to the line of scrimmage, and we've been averaging over 90 plays a game going into the game, and they did a good job. We had 60 plays on Saturday, and we had some opportunities. We we just didn't take advantage of them. It's out of the frying pan into the fire. Williams is coming to town. They are high octane. They, last week they had 650 yards of offense. They have a receiver who has in three games, 390 yard plus touchdown receptions, seven touchdowns for the year. Darren Hartwell, he's from North Reading, Massachusetts. And I remember when he was in high school, there were 16 kids on his high school team. Um, but they're pretty good. They, they have not changed. Tr typically, Trinity Williams and Amherst have been the top three in the league. And so we are out of the fire, frying pan into the fire, I think, this week. We can beat them. We really believe that. We just have to play well. We have to improve. Our effort levels have been terrific and continue to be. Just need to take some, take some more advantage of some opportunities. Congratulations to the helmet winners. The team is the deal, by the way. Good luck to everybody.